Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so guys, this will be the part end of my video series on background video player using Android player in Android Studio. Okay guys, so as this is the part end, so now we were we will be doing the uh, work on the floating widget service class. So now we were here. We just initialized all the attributes and I mean all the objects to initialize the um, Android player. And now we need to hit utilize like exo player dot is not equal to null then what we are going to do is we are going to say and window manager dot remove view and then we can write m floating widget here and then we can say m floating widget equal to null then we can say m window manager equal to null. Then we can say simple as a player dot set play when ready to make it false. Then we need to release. So we can say as a player dot release. Then we can say the player equal to null. Alright, and after this. After we have this, if it's no, if it is, uh, if the view is already shown and the window manager is not equal to null, then we just remove all the views and we just close the exo player. And now here we are going to. Okay, so now we can say final window manager dot layout params and we we name it as params then we can say m floating widget equal to layout later dot from we can pass this then we can say dot inflate and we need to inflate a custom pop-up window so for the pop-up window we can say r dot layout dot so we need to first of all initialize Custom pop up window, then we can pass null here and it's saying an error. What's the issue? Layout inflator dot from. Then we have this, then dot inflate, and make sure that we select. Okay, so we need to make sure that it is from the R this one R dot layout dot custom pop up window. Alright, still it's saying an error. If we pass in false, we can say null, then we can create. The resource file for the custom pop up window. So we can say custom pop up window, and yes, now the error is removed, and we have this. Uh,
we have this window so now we need to check if we have uh, if the OS is on current Oreo or above okay so because we have the different coding for the Oreo devices and for the below Oreo devices so it will work on Marshmallow and uh, Nougat and, and all the other which have less than Oreo okay so here we can check if OS dot build dot version dot SDK int and if it is greater than equal to Android dot OS dot build dot version codes dot O then we can say params equal to new window manager dot layout params and then we have the view group dot layout params dot web content then we have the view group dot layout params dot web content then we have the window manager dot layout params dot type application overlay then we need to pass in the flag so for this we can say window manager dot layout params dot flag not focusable and finally we need to set the pixel format so for this we can say pixel format dot transparent translucent sorry okay and there we have the params and else inside the else part okay so we have unexpected okay Okay, so now we have this if and inside our else part so we can say params equal to new window manager dot layout params then it will be the same just we need to just uh, copy it and paste it here but instead of this uh, application I mean the type type overlay we need to use the type phone and flag not focusable and translucent okay so now our, uh, it's complete but here you can see that invalid method let me just remove it now everything is fine after we have we set up the params so now what we can do is we can say params dot gravity we need to set the gravity and it will be gravity dot top or we will have the gravity dot left and then we can say params dot x equal to 200 then we have params dot y equal to 200 then we can say and window manager equal to window manager get system service and then we can pass the window service and so we can say m window manager dot add view and here we will have m floating widget and then we can pass in the params and then we now we now need to uh, initialize the uh, exo player view so for this we can now need to say bandwidth meter equal to new default bandwidth meter then we need to say track selector equal to new default track selector 
then have the new adaptive track selection dot factory and we will have the brand new bandwidth meter then we need to say agro player equal to agro player factory dot new simple instance and from this we can pass this and the track selected after we have this so now we need to initialize our custom uh, pop-ups but for this we need to create or i mean write the code for our custom uh, pop-up window so in order to do this we need to now we will do that in our part 11 of this video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and